if you're overwhelmed, stressed, upset, unhappy, annoyed, really sure you got put on the wrong planet this time. You're like, I've been thinking this for years, but this time it was definitely a mistake. Just ask yourself, where can I create small acts of light in order to counterbalance what I'm going through? Not to shut it down, not to shut it off, not to squash it or suppress it. But if there is an imbalance for you around the things that keep you afloat. So for example, um, freedom, magic, love, they're three of the things that I need in my life with some kind of level of regularity. You know, if you look at your own personal values, uh, there are certain value, we all have certain values, things that are important to us, things that we value, ways of being or energies. And freedom, love, and magic are three of mine. I have several more. But if I don't have a relationship with those, with some regularity, then I can start to decline or lose my sense of my soul on earth and who I'm here to be. Because of course, those are values that I also like to create in the world. Uh, they're values I enjoy, they're values I I believe in those energies, I work on behalf of those energies, and I also need to receive those energies. So ask yourself, what are my values? What if I had to pick three things today that are really important to me in life? What are the three things that you would pick? And then how can you bring at least one of those into your life on a daily basis? So I'll give you an example on some of my busiest days where I'm very busy with lots of other people and my, my introvert's just going to have to wait. <laughs> my introvert is not allowed to have much time to himself, which can, you know, make me a little tantrumy sometimes, especially if I've been going for too long without serving my introvert. But um, the freedom for me can be the 15 minute drive from the house to the office and having on some nice music and looking at the hills as I'm driving and feeling free. And that 15 minutes can be enough. And then of course I can find freedom in other places. So this isn't some big unobtainable thing, but what I've learned is that the practice of these things in small ways, it compounds. It's why gratitude lists work if you do them for a long time. If you do them for many months, you will notice a shift because your focus, your awareness, your practice, your habits will start to cultivate a bit more of that. It's why boundaries change your life. Not because you get good at being able to say to your stepsister, no, but because, because that one time you got good at going, no, you create an aura of no inside you that perhaps was never there before, which means the next time someone asks you to do something that you don't want to, or that you feel pushed into, and the old you didn't know how to say no, now in your energy field, because you practice the no over here, you've started to develop this no muscle that can be brought forward at the right moment, at the right time, in the right interaction. So what are the three things that you value today. And by the way, our values can change and grow and evolve. So you can do this on a daily basis. You can say, what am I most craving today? And how could you give that to yourself? It's really a, it's a really important thing to just kind of notice where we're missing the things that we need. I had a funny moment a week ago where Stephen had bought some beautiful plants for his office. And um, his office is just over here. And he'd been out that day and I'd been, I'd been working a lot to kind of like navigate everything we're doing and the move. And, and I remember seeing his plants and I said, oh, wow, they're lovely. I was happy for him. And then very quickly, I was envious. I was like, oh, I wish I could go out and get a plant for my office. And so I caught that thought and I thought, well, then why don't you tomorrow? Why don't you just take 90 minutes tomorrow move something slightly so that you can have that experience. And I did. And of course, I felt better. So in that moment, the envy that I was feeling wasn't about him. 
It was about him showing me something that looked really fun, really good, really just taking a moment to. And so I was like, oh, how do I create that? How can I move things around? And of course, you usually can move things to give yourself those small compounding acts of love or acts of self-care or acts of freedom, whatever it is you feel you need. I felt very free in that garden center by myself. I was alone. <laughs> I was in a garden center. I wasn't doing anything to do with all of the other things that I either was doing or felt responsible for. It was fantastic. Of course, I bought more plants than I really needed, but that's, that's a whole other story. But it was good, and, I, and it, it did everything it needed. So paying attention to this and this and course correcting and adjusting ourselves at the moment is not just something that you might have been doing for 20 years because you know maybe you've been a self-growth person for 20 years so you're like oh yeah i first learned that at a workshop 20 years ago and i i know to do that it's different now it's a different world it's a different speed it's a different energy movement so we need those acts of self-care more than ever especially for those of you who are empathic sensitive responsible if you have a high degree of responsibility for other people in your life or it's going to be really important for you to cultivate that relationship and i'm working on it too you know i'm i'm highly aware of the need to up my game right now around that stuff in order to be able to be who i'm here to be and how i want to be on the planet because the two have to go hand in hand so Hope that helps. Hi, you've been watching an extract from one of my monthly broadcasts for our portal community, The Energy Tune-Up. Every month I do them for 90 minutes and I also take questions both from my own vantage point as an energy intuitive and then I channel my guides the Z's and they interact with the questions in our community. So here is a little glimpse into what you experience as a portal member in case you wanted to consider trying it out for a month and seeing if it's for you. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to The Portal. The Portal is my monthly members community and we have been going for almost eight years. Some have called it a sanctuary for sensitives it's a place where I get to offer you tools to help you thrive, survive, and expand your life. So every month, I get to bring in-depth teaching, specially curated content, and we do all of this in a private community. Over the years, my energy updates have become popular, but the thing about reading for everybody and the amount of people who tune into those now is we don't always necessarily get to specify. Every month I do a 90 minute live broadcast which is archived and available for replays for many months afterwards where not only do I do an in-depth energy read for the portal member community, I also take live questions. So we have some pre-submitted questions but we have a lot of live on-air questions. I stopped doing personal sessions a couple of years ago so this is a great way to get your question answered but also through this curated questioning, we get to uplift as a community because the thoughts, the concerns, the hopes that are on the community's mind get looked at and the energy tune-up becomes a healing call as a result. Secondly, you will receive that month's latest MP3. Every single month, we create a brand new MP3 that is usually a channel from my guides, The Z's, with sound healing, and often with an original song at the end, which I create in collaboration with Slovenian sound healer and composer Davor Bozik. These MP3s are designed to support you with what's going on in current energies and essentially to be an hour of audio medicine that you can listen to that month and forever in the future. Many people revisit these MP3s time and time again. We also have a classics library, eight of my past titles that are favorites, that rotate every five months so that you get to go deeper with some recordings you may have otherwise missed or not been able to find in the past. Stephen Washington, my husband, delivers Qigong videos and teaching every single month 
that's exclusive to those of you in the portal. He creates a Qigong sequence that he bases on the themes of that month's energy update. Usually this is around 30 minutes long and it remains in the portal as an archive for a full year after its first broadcast. So you immediately have access to 12 Qigong sequences on video from Stephen. Stephen also creates a short meditation every single month. These are around seven, eight minutes long because I wanted them to be short enough for you to use very easily. And he has created these with Davor Bozik. As a welcome bonus gift when you join the portal, you will find Intuitive Power, the full video recording of our one day event in London that kicked off our Intuitive Power tour. It's approximately five hours. It features myself and Stephen. If you've never been able to get to a live event, it's a great way to experience the live energy in the room and also learn some things about intuition, your body and wellness along the way. And finally, my favorite thing is our Facebook community. Our Facebook community is a private group, so it allows people to have discussions, engage with each other and support each other in the privacy of a contained group. So along with special discounts for Portal members, we manage to bring all of this to you at an incredibly affordable fee every month. So if you want to try the portal, see if it resonates with you for a month, we would love to have you join us, try it out, and we hope you stay because we love serving our members and we love curating and creating the portal every single month.